What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski, back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Dude, I gotta say, dude, th this unit is just crazy. Like, whole new levels of crazy. We've never had a, a unit as, as, as nutty as what this unit is. And I am not being hyperbolic when I say this, but I believe that if this character was built for, you know, any other class, essentially, like Cerebral or, like, Powerhouse, you know, even Driven, right? This would probably be a top 5 unit in the game, and I'm not kidding. This unit is absolutely insane but the way that they kind of mitigate it is that they restrict it to using shooters and shooters is without doubt the worst class in the game so it makes sense why they build such a powerful character for this class where you're not really going to get too many opportunities to use it but in situations where you can this unit is whole new levels of insane now, a lot of the powerful effects of this unit stem from the character's captain ability. So, the captain ability states that you get minus two cooldown at the start of the quest, which means if you run double leads, you get minus four cooldown with cooldown minus six. It's just crazy, just that alone. And then also will provide a 1.2 health boost to quicken shooter, and also a 5.25 times attack boost to quicken shooter uh, if they've got a matching slot. Otherwise, it's only a five times boost. Yeah, it's only a five times boost, guys. You know, it's nothing crazy. But then that's where the craziness hits, where it goes on to say that if you have a character on your crew with the barrier pierce potential ability, and you meet the requirements of that potential ability to activate, then when you hit a perfect with that unit, you reduce one turn of threshold damage reduction and defense when you hit that perfect. So this is the crazy part, right? Is essentially, if you don't understand what it means, it means that if a character has barrier penetration, step one. Step two, you need to make sure that that barrier penetration ability activates. So you know that if a character is at the lower levels of their barrier penetration, it's based on how much health you have remaining. So if you have like a regular rare recruit and it's only at level one, typically you need to be at full HP for it to activate, meaning if you're not at full HP, it's not going to be able to activate barrier penetration or barrier pierce, then when you hit the perfect, it's not going to remove the defensive effects. But, obviously, when you have a Sugo Fest exclusive character that has barrier penetration, when you have it maxed out at level 5 and you hit that perfect, it's always going to activate, which is so crazy. And for those who don't know, characters that are shooters, that are Sugo Fest exclusives, a lot of the time they're going to have barrier penetration, which is a huge benefit here, meaning that you just really, in a lot of cases, you don't need to worry about enemy defensive effects. If you guys would have seen the previous clip against Queen, we, we were able to get through that pretty comfortably. And once again, you'll see here in this clip versus Mihawk, you know, defensive effects mean nothing because not only do you go through those defensive effects with hitting perfects when you have the barrier penetration active, it's the fact that they have barrier pierce in the first place. So when you're up against a character that does have a barrier, you can just go ahead and do your normal attacks, get through it just like this Doflamingo fight, absolutely no problems. So this is all well and good with his amazing captain ability, but then he continues on having a very powerful special effect via his superclass effect, being the first superclass shooter character in the game's history. Now, in order to activate his superclass special, you do need to have at least five or more shooter characters on your crew, which is a pr it's a completely fair condition considering the captain. And then when you have a look at what the effect does, it goes on to reduce threshold, damage reduction and defense up by two turns and provides a two times attack boost for your shooter characters for two turns as well as changing them into super shooters which i think is also fantastic this is a very fitting super class special for the character um, however one thing that i have noticed while using him as a captain is that sometimes getting matching slots can be an issue and that's one of the things with this character that i think uh, would have been a nice change you know potentially getting rid of the ability to remove the defensive effect with his super class but then going ahead and you know giving a way to get matching slots would have been nice but at the end of the day it's not that big of an issue uh, as there are quite a few characters you can use with shooters to generate some slots for you but i think that it would have been nice if there was some type of way to get slots but despite that just more ways to remove defensive effects which is always nice because you're not always going to run barrier penetration units on your team and this is just a way to remove them without having to you know do normal attacks to get around that then we can have a look at his special ability which is also very nice to use with this character where it will boost quick 
and shoot a character's slot effects by 2.25 for three turns, and also gives you a 2.75 times chain boundary effect for three turns. And then he goes on to say that if you already have an orb boost, you'll buff it by 0.3, and if you already have a chain lock, you'll buff it by 0.25. So again, just reducing the redundancy a little bit when if you run double you know, Beckman and uh, and Lucky Roo. You can use both specials in the same turn to get a 2.55 orb boost and a three times chain boundary for three turns. So I like that. I like that there is ways to, you know, use the specials over multiple different turns. You know, you could be in a situation where the enemy removes your defensive effects when you move to a new stage. You can just have another special anyway. So I, I like that. I like that this character has, you know, a special ability that can provide some pretty serious damage potential as his captain ability and his super type essentially provide some pieces of utility that the character will give you anyway. But it does mean as well that if you do decide to use him as a crewmate, you don't get the huge benefits from his captain and his super type, which is probably the main component as to why you'd use him in the first place. Unless if there is a legit reason why you'd want to use him as a sub, you know, potentially you've got some other better captain that you could use. But again, you could just use a hybrid scenario too. There's lots of really cool ways around that. But either way, uh, the kit as a whole is very good. But of course, the, the fact that he gives you a slot effect boost is kind of strange considering the fact that he doesn't have a way to give you matching slots either. So again, you are still trying to rely on other effects like beneficial orb enablers or orb changes to give you the orbs that you need so that the special ability of Beckman and Lucky Roo gets to, you know, use to its fullest advantage, right? Now, of course, this character also has a super tandem ability. Now, getting this super tandem will probably be tough in a lot of shooter teams because in order to get it to activate, you'll need to have Shanks, Yasop, Rockstar, or Usopp on your team to get it to launch, which is pretty difficult, I think, but but look, they still is a, there's still a pretty slight chance that they may give us a brand new Yasop or a brand new Usopp throughout the Film Red celebration, and that would be a really nice unit to run alongside uh, the Beckman and Lucky Roo. But the effect itself, when you launch it, will remove one turn of Threshold, Damage Reduction, and Defense Up once again, and also will provide a tandem attack boost, two times boost to quick and shooter characters. So again, if you're running mono shooters, being able to launch that super tandem is going to be kind of nuts. So hopefully that is the case and will be kind of easier to activate with better characters that get released later on down the line. This character could also see a little bit of play as a support character too. Now, he only attaches to Rockstar, Yasop, and Shanks. So very restricted pool of characters. But it says that if you use a special that does damage, whether it be health cut or a damage dealing special, they reduce threshold, damage reduction, and defense up by one turn. Any support effect that has an ability to remove a defensive effect is always going to be valuable, but the fact that this character can remove those three all by one turn is going to be very key moving forward. I think that that's extremely valuable, and the fact that he does only attach to a few characters is obviously a bit of a shame, but then again, those characters in particular, Shanks, Yasop, and Rockstar, don't have a lot of supports in the first place, but I could probably see an issue where if you want to use Shanks and then like another Ben Beckman or something like like that or you know you wanted to use Ben Beckman as a sub on the team then maybe I don't know I feel like there could be a bit of overlap if all of these characters are on the crew and they all support each other but then if you want to run them all in the same team might be a little bit of overlap there but overall I'm a big fan of this character the captain ability and the super type alone with the special that is a very nice supporting act it's just a whole lot of fun to use and we all know that shooters is the worst class in the game but this is a fantastic way to get shooters back on the right track and as I said I really hope that we get a brand new Yasop hopefully sometime soon that provides even more buffs to the shooter class that would be absolutely insane but this is you know it's a long way back for shooters they need a lot of support for them to be in contention to be one of the best classes but with a captain ability such as this it really holds them in good stead but with all of that being said that is going to wrap it up for me I'll leave you guys with the rest of this clip versus the uh, Garp Challenge Navy but I hope you, that you guys enjoyed this video today and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys I'll see you guys within the next video